finding 25%, 50%, and 75% of a quantity. Now, when you want to find uh, these percentages, it's a good idea to draw a diagram. So before I explain what I mean, you should be knowing 25%, whenever you see uh, something like this, 25% means 25 out of 100. Percent means out of 100. And 25 out of 100 is same as 1 out of 4. Okay, and uh, to show this, okay, so before, now 50% is double of 25%. So 50% is double of 25%, which is 50 out of 100. And 50 out of 100 is same as writing 1 out of 2 or half. And 75% is 3 lots of 50%. Okay, 25 plus 25 plus 25 is 75, or 50 plus 25 is 75. Okay, so this is 75 out of 100 that is three quarters let me explain this as a fraction so let me draw a circle a pie you can draw any shape you can draw a rectangle or a so let me draw this as a pie or this is one full circle or and let me also explain hundred percent hundred percent means hundred out of hundred this means hundred out of hundred that is 1. So 1 is 100%. If you know 1 is 100%, half is 50%. 1 quarter is 25% and 3 quarters is 75%. So let me split this into quarters. So show, make it into 4 division. So this is 25%. This is 1 quarter. You all should be knowing one quarter is same as 25%. Okay, and if you take two lots of, or two quarters, this is one half. This is one half, or a quarter plus quarter. This is a quarter plus quarter, which is two quarters. So when you're adding fractions, and if the denominators are equal, you add the top numbers, but you don't add the bottom number. So this is 1 plus 1 is 2 quarters, and 2 quarters is same as half. Okay, and this is also saying, this is same as saying it's 50%. This is 50%. Okay, now if you take, let me cancel this off, and if you three, take three, three lots of, three quarters, this is one quarter, this is two quarters, and this is three quarters. So you can say one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter, so let me show that, one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter. So this is one fact you should understand when you're adding fractions, you add the top if the denominators, if the bottom numbers are equal, so this is 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 quarters. And 3 quarters as a percent, when you write that as a percent, is 75%. So these are basic ideas you should be knowing. Okay. Let me use a bigger eraser to erase this. Now how are we going to use this to find these percentages? So let me make up a simple question. Okay, suppose the question is, uh, you want to find, uh, say, the quantity that I'm taking is, say, 140. Okay, you want to find 25%, uh, 50%, and 75% of $140. So what do you do? It can be anything, $140 or 140 centimeters or whatever. So if you want to, f the first thing is to find 50%. Okay, 50% is half of it. 50% you should understand is half. And if you want to find 50%, you're finding half. And half of 140 is $70. Okay, now those who can't do off the head, you can go 140 
divided by 2. Okay, you can use a calculator if this is a struggle. So let me show this. So let me uh, standard simple calculator. So you can go 140. This is a divided by 2 equals 70. So you can say 50%. 50% of 140 dollars is 70 dollars is equal to 70 dollars so if you want to find 25% so the question is say 25% of 140 so you have to find a quarter of that so if you want to do it on a calculator so this is 140 25% you should remember is one quarter so you're dividing that by 4. Okay, 140 divided by 4 is 35. So, or you can also do like this. 25% is half of 50%. So if 50% is 70, half of 70 is 35. Okay, so let me show that. 140 divided by 4 is 35. Or 70 divided by 2 is also 35. Okay, now what if it is 75%? 75% of 140. So that is 3 quarters. 75% is 3 quarters. So this is 3 quarters. So if you want to do this on a calculator, so you go 140. First you have a quarter. This is, when you're dividing by 4, it is a quarter. Okay, and then times it by 3. So this is 1 quarter, and you've got 3 lots of 1 quarter. So let's do this on a calculator. 140 <coughs> divided by 4, which is 1 quarter, and then times it by 3. Multiply by 3, which is 105. Now, for those who are smart, you don't need a calculator. So if you know 25% and 50%, so how can you do this? without a calculator. So if you know 50% is 70, 70, and if you know 25% is half of 50%, which is 35, you can add this to, which is 50% plus 25% is 75%, is, if you add this to, which is $105. So this is how you can do without a calculator or with a calculator. So let me give you one more example. Say you want to find 25%. You want to find 25%, 50%, and 75% of, say, 20 or 20 me write 20 centimeters. This can be anything. So you can pause this video now and try to do this yourself with or without a calculator. You decide whether you want to use a calculator or not. Okay, I'll leave it to you. Hopefully you've done it. So I'll first, I'll first do without a calculator. First I'll find 50% of 20. I'm not going to write off 20, so 50% is half of 10, half of 20, which is 10. And then 25% is half of 50%, so which is 5, five oh, it's not dollars, it's good to correct. So this is 10 centimeters, this is half of 5, 10 is 5 centimeter. And so you can find 25% add them up, which is 75% is 15 centimeter. Or if you want to do this in a diagram, suppose uh, those are like diagrams, so let me draw a rectangle if you, okay, so and then you split this into half. First do half, okay, so this is say 20 centimeter, so this is 20 centimeter. So this will be how much? This will be 10 and 10. So I'm again going to do this half. 
okay and again so let's divide this into quarters so 20 divided by 4 is 5 so this is 5 centimeter this is 5 centimeter this is 5 centimeter and this is 5 centimeter so if you divide into quarters so you can say this is how much this is this is 25 percent this is directly you can say this is 25 percent and how much is this uh, if you let me draw a different shading say this is this is how much this is 50 percent which is 10 and if you take three lots it is 75 percent which is 5 10 15 